Hey guys, so I wanted to make a quick video about the Trans Calendar Project because I haven't really talked about it much since I mentioned that I was in it this year. Um, so far, we're about halfway into our crowdfunding campaign. We've raised, uh, I think, like 3300 around something like that. Um, and there's 18 days left to raise the rest of our money. So that's pretty much 18 days to raise $7,000. So why should you help out this project? Well, the project itself is really important for the trans community because it showcases how diverse we can all be. People hear the word transgender or transsexual uh, or any other term that signifies that someone is gender non-conforming and they get this very distinct image in their head of what that means. And this calendar is a really great platform for us to be able to show people that stereotypes aren't always true and that like any other human being, trans people can have their own identity and be different in their own way. Um, so the funds for this calendar, half of everything that we earn goes back into the calendar itself, um, meaning that if we don't raise the money that the calendars don't get made at all. And the other half goes towards the artists um, and as well as to help people involved in the calendar with their gender transitions. Um, so things like surgeries and um, laser hair removal and name changes and gender changes and all that stuff um, are the types of things that this calendar is going to help pay for. So for me personally, um, <clears throat> I'm in a place right now where I'm, I don't need the help um, to pay for my surgery. I'm lucky enough to have my, my dad um, help me out for that. But the reason that I think this project is so important is to change people's attitudes. Um, as you guys know, I'm, I live in Montreal and the laws for trans people in Montreal are really outdated, really unethical and pretty much barbaric. And changing the attitudes of the people that make these laws, I mean, obviously we're not going to be sending this calendar to Congress or anything, but like, we need to change people's perception of what being transgender means. Um, in Montreal, uh, in order to get your, your name changed, you have to print your address in the newspaper. Let that sink in for a bit. Got it? Okay. In order to get your gender marker changed, you have to get sexual reassignment surgery. So they're basically forcing sterilization. These are the types of things that need to change, and these are the type of attitudes that revolve around the fear of the unknown that a lot of people have about transgender people. Um, so I think this calendar is really important, um, and we'd appreciate all the help that we can get promoting it. Like I mentioned, if we don't raise the 10000 in the next 18 days, the calendars don't get made at all and the project pretty much becomes a bust this year. And the artists and photographers have put so much work into this calendar. The cover page is beautiful, the layout is beautiful, everything's in full color. We got to see the pictures that are going into it recently and they're all amazing. Every little detail of this calendar is as perfect as it could have as any of us could have hoped for it to be. So the product that you'll be getting is actually fantastic. Um, and aside from that, you're going to be helping a great cause and you're going to be helping a really cool group of people. And if you buy a calendar, you're going to get to look at some sexy trans people every month. Um, so please help us out. If you can't donate financially, totally understandable, but at least help spread the word. And uh, yeah, so that's my two cents. And uh, Hope that you guys can help out. Thanks.